this? I'm... I'm a bug. Well, this just won't do. I... I have work! This... Well, this won't do at all. I work so much. They're gonna... They're gonna fire me. I'm all alone in this battle. Of work, trying to provide for my family. I... I can't do it. Not as a bug, at least. This just won't do. Not at all. Gregor, this is your mom. You need to go to work. You have to go pay bills. Hurry up, I'm getting in an anxious frenzy. I'll be there in a minute. Your manager's here, hurry up. Gregor, where are you? You've been doing a very bad job. Just a minute, Mom. I can't, I can't get off my back. Oh no. This will never do. Just a minute, Mom. I can't help this. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't help it. Hurry up, Gregor, hurry up. Open this door. Knock, knock, knock. Open the door. Ah, a oh, bug. No. Oh my gosh. A bug. We're gonna go into debt. Oh, woe is me. Life of being a bug. I can't stand it. I wish I were human again so I could work all the time and never have a life. That was such joy. I miss those days, providing completely for my family. That was fantastic. Now, I just feel like I'm a burden and don't do anything all day. And I miss drinking milk. I enjoyed it as my favorite drink before, but now, not so much. I think I'll just go and, and sleep under this couch. That sounds nice. I'll just spend my time under this couch. Oh, I'm Greta. I'm Gregor's younger sister, and I think it's kind of creepy that he's a bug, but I really want to take care of him. So, I need to feed him, I think. So, like, so, like, I brought him this milk. Well, he, like, didn't seem to like milk. Even though it used to be his favorite drink, he doesn't like it anymore. So, I brought him this rotten food, because, like, I heard beetles like rotten food, and I don't really understand that. Mm. But I hope he likes it. Oh, he likes it. Mm. I can hear him. <laughs> Oh, well, this room is getting really gross, and I feel the need to clean it, so I'm just, I'm just gonna do a little sleeping, Gregor. No, no, stay under the couch. I, it's emotionally traumatizing to look at you. Okay? I'm so alone. I have no special someone in my life. The closest thing to a special someone that I have is this picture collage frame thing that I've made that I gratefully love. And it is pretty much everything I have. And in this beetle form, it's the only thing that makes me human. So, I, th I think Gregor really likes climbing around on the walls, and I like, I like think he'd enjoy it better if there was no furniture in the room, and, you know, because he's kind of more of like a bug now than a human, so I think it'd make him happier if the furniture was out. Hey mom, what do you think? Do you think we should take the furniture out? No, he's still my son, he must be human. He needs his furniture. I must go see him though. Let me go see him. Oh, I, I don't think Dad really wants you to go see him. I think it might be too emotional and traumatizing. No. And He's my son. I love him. I must go see him. Let me in and see him. Are, are you sure? I, I mean, like, are you going to be okay? You don't feel like you have a heart attack or anything? No, I'm fine. Okay, you sure? Yes. <laughs> are you positive? A, a little bit. A little bit? You can't just be a little bit positive. You gotta be so positive because then my book. Brother turns into a beetle and gets. Guys! The same mom that would be so traumatic. I'm not going to die. I love my son. Let me just see him. Please, please. Let okay, me okay. Him. I'll let him see you. I'll let you see him. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, there he is. Ah! Well, I just have bad asthma and I can't work at all and this is terrible and I'm having to sell jewelry and I just can't handle it and he's such a burden and I feel trapped in this room and what are we ever gonna do? I just, I hate that I have to have a job because I never had to work when Gregor could work and he always brought me pretty things home. <laughs> I just feel so trapped that he's not my Gregor, what have you done? And he's 
just, why did he have to do this to me? I'm just too fragile to go to work. Can't you see I'm fragile, you guys? I'm fragile. What kind of sun quits on their family? Yeah, my see, it's so stressed, my hair is falling out. We shall just take in borders. The borders are all we need. They can give us money. What will the borders do with the bug? We'll have to hide him. We must keep him in there. So, will these borders do I don't know yet. Then... <gasps> I am a border. I would like to come stay with you. Okay. It's nice to meet you, sir. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. I guess you're staying in my room now. If that's oh, where okay. I must. <laughs> I'm too poor to have my Put, Deal room. with it. Because of Gregor, you have to put up with some things. You'll get guys. used to it. Okay, I'm gonna play the violin for you guys now, okay? I'm pretty good. Oh, I so miss Greta's playing on the violin. It's so wonderful. I just wanted to send her to music school, but now I may never have that chance, and it makes me sad. Her music draws me out of her, my room, and, and I just, I want to be near her music, but I know I shouldn't. Oh no, the boarders may see me. Oh dear, I probably should run back to my room now. Ah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> What is that bug? Ah. Where's Gregor? He's not supposed to sneak his room. Ah. What is what is this oh, thing? Oh, I don't see it anymore. Yeah. Ah. 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 I'm jumping out now. Ah. Ah. No. Ah. Get that thing away from me. Ah. Why are we here? What? Ah. 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 I just don't want to eat anymore. I just, I don't feel like eating. No matter how much I may have enjoyed the food, the wound my father gave me from throwing an apple at me that is still stuck in my back. It is so painful. I don't know how much longer I can manage. I really enjoy the boxes that have been placed in here. But they make me sad because I know it means they want to get rid of me. And it, they're, it, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Just always tired. This apple wound has done a number on me. Oh, it's just so exhausting. And I feel, I feel like my family doesn't even love me anymore. Nor treat me human. I can feel, I can feel myself dying. I'm so close to death. I see dawn break and, and I can feel death getting near thanks to the apple wound. It is so sad that I can no longer provide for my family nor give. Greta, the education I know she deserves at that music college for playing beautiful violin. I... I guess... I guess I'll just die now. Alright, so Gregor died and no one really seems to notice or care, so I guess I'll just, um, do something with them, cause... I don't really think anyone else is gonna do anything about it, so I guess I'll throw them away. I'm so happy that we all get to live together and be happy now. <laughs> it's just so wonderful and we finally get to get a smaller apartment. It's so wonderful that my daughter's finally growing up. It's almost time to get her husband here. I'm so gorgeous. Just look at my blonde blonde hair. You're a lady now. <laughs> And now Gregor's not here to hold us back, and we all have our own money, and everyone's being wonderful. Life is so good. Life is beautiful.